In this example, we're going to use the plurality with elimination method to count votes one more time. And here we have the preference schedule for a straw vote that was done two days before an election. So this is to get an idea of what um, voters are wanting um, ahead of an election. So with plurality with elimination, we need to figure out how many votes are required for a majority. And so we would add 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 4. This is 29. So there are 29 total voters. And we would need to divide that by 2 to figure out what the majority is. And 29 divided by 2 is 14.5. So that means that we need 15 votes in order to have a majority. Let's make up our chart. We have three candidates, candidates A, B, and C. Candidate A has seven and four, so that's 11 first place votes. Candidate B has eight first place votes, and candidate C has 10 first place votes. None of our candidates have the majority of the first place votes, so we eliminate the candidate with the least number of first place votes, which is candidate B. And candidate B's eight votes will get passed along to candidate C. And so candidate A has 11 votes, candidate B is out of the running, and candidate C now has 18 first place votes, and so candidate C wins. Now let's take a look at the preference schedule for the actual election. So here it is. And we notice that there is a little bit of difference between this preference schedule and the one from the straw votes two days before. And so notice that the difference is that we have 14 voters in the new preference schedule with the preference CAB. Before the election, there were four voters that had the preference ACB, and since A didn't win, they wanted to ensure their second favorite candidate winning the election. So instead of voting ACB, they decided to put C in their first place to sort of lock in candidate C as the winner. So let's see what happens by them changing their votes and moving C up on their ballots. We have the same number of voters, 29, so we still need 15 for a majority. We have the three candidates that are running, A, B, and C. Candidate A has seven first place votes. Candidate B has eight, and candidate C has 14. So candidate C is only one away from a majority, but we still don't have a majority, so we need to eliminate the candidate with the least number of first place votes, and that's candidate A. And we can see from our preference schedule that A, the votes for A are now going to be passed along to B. And so now B has 15 votes and C only 14. And so now B wins. So these four voters thought that they were going to be solidifying candidate C's win of the election when in fact moving C up on their ballots causes C to now lose the election. And so this is um, a problem with using the um, plurality with elimination method. So that is all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks.